Now on to some politics. The Democratic Arm um, of Kenya, DP, is holding its National Delegates Convention today at the Bombers of Kenya as it seeks to chart the way forward ahead of the August election. NTV senior political reporter Kennedy Murevi now joins us live from the Bombers of Kenya with the latest. Kennedy, good afternoon. The DP um, uh, presidential aspirant, National Assembly Speaker Justin Maturi promised um, a surprise guest at the NDC today. Do we have an idea who that is? <laughs> well, a very good afternoon to you there, Nina, in our studios. And just one second ago, a chopper has just passed by here and has landed in this Bomas of Kenya. We do not know whether that is the surprise guest they have been talking about because until now that question has remained under wraps. Nobody even wants to tell us. Even our friends, I know my friend Nyaga from the Speaker's office, but he doesn't even want to tell me who this surprise guest is. So it is something that they are keeping as a secret, one of the best guarded secrets, I must say, because if it were one of the other big politicians, we do know that Raila Odinga is in Mombasa. We do know that Kalonzo Musyoka is in Mombasa. And Deputy President William Ruto is in Meru. So we would really want to know who this surprise guest is. As the program we do also understand has just kicked off, there is a serious red carpet that has been put here that starts all the way from the main gate and comes all the way to this particular Baraza Hall at the Bombers of Kenya. And this Baraza Hall is actually synonymous because this is the same same point that Musalia Mudavadi has had his NDC. And this is the same point where Deputy President William Ruto came at that particular day and they were able to touch base and form that new relationship that they had. But right now, as my camera person, Shamason, will be able to walk with me, is that uh, this red carpet has been put on for the delegates and also for the VIP who have been invited. But inside the hall, I can see quite a number of uh, serious guests who've come in and the function has is is taking place and this is how it is taking on and you can even see the symbol of the democratic party that is the uh, that is the the light and it actually even is burning already and uh, there is a serious number we can see from there that the presidential hopeful uh, Justin Muturi, the Speaker of the National Assembly, is already there. And today he's also taking over the mantle as the party leader from Munya, who is seated next to him. He's a veteran uh, politician from Ukambani. And uh, the Speaker has been insisting that he is going all the way to the ballot unless otherwise and if he's going to speak to anybody else then he'll be speaking to like-minded uh, persons that is speaker justin moturi on your screen i can also see a political analyst martin kagwanja who has declared interest in the position of senator moranga county who is already there so this event is going on there are a number of delegates who are here from every part of the country waiting for that surprise guest that they have been singing about just to know who it is and if it is indeed true that it is today that he will be making that decision on who to support moving into 2022 or who he will be joining hands with. So it is a delicate situation. A political statement is just about to be made at this particular function. And if they do make that political statement with regards to the direction that they are willing to take, then it is going to be one of those that uh, Kenyans will be waiting for. So as of now, we do not know who that surprise guest is, Nina, to answer your question. We can see most of the people are already settled. But unlike the other time when we were here, when the uh, Amani National Congress were having their National Delegates Conference, this one seems a bit more organized. There are not so many people outside waiting to come in. But the delegates who are just seated in here, waiting to endorse Speaker Justin Moturi as the new party leader of the National delegates of the Democratic Party also as they await for him to take over the mantle as that person who's going to be given uh, the flag bearer position to fly this flag. What we also do understand that he's also going to be given the mantle to speak to other like-minded political parties. One of the things that we've been knowing, uh, Nina, is that 
Speaker Muturi has been very categorical that the place of the Mount Kenya region must be cemented. And in most of the functions that he's been attending, he's been insisting that the Mount Kenya people, if they are not on the table, then they are on the menu. And he has been insisting, even if he's going to make any decision to join anybody moving into 2022, then that decision must be informed by the fact that the Mount Kenya people must be given their voice. So what we do expect that he might be even talking about that when he stands to speak and when he'll be articulating his issues. So as of now, we can only wait to hear what is that moving from the known to the unknown. Who is this uh, surprise guest? Then we can only wait to see. But as it stands right now, Speaker Justin Muturi is waited upon to give the right direction where he would want his political party to go. That particular chopper I was telling you about has dropped someone. That chopper has gone. We can only wait to see if somebody is, will be coming this direction and if that will be indeed the surprise guest. But as of now, we can only wait with our eyes and ears open. Nina.